Hello everyone, um, this week is uh, Baby Loss Awareness Week and I'd like to share um, the key findings of um, our paper uh, that was published in October issue of, um, of the White Journal on the reduction in twin stillbirths following implementation of NICE guidance. We know that stillbirths and neonatal deaths tend to be more common in twins compared to singletons. We wanted to look at the effect of implementation of NICE guidance on four outcomes, stillbirths, neonatal deaths, emergencies in section, and admissions in neonatal unit. The first version of the NICE guideline on twins was published in 2011. Obviously, it takes time to implement it, and therefore we compared the four outcomes um, before and after June 2013. This was a, a stillbirth in twins uh, at St. George's where I work, and you see that there is a reduction. Uh, when we compared the four outcomes, we found that there was a significant uh, reduction in stillbirths after the implementation by about uh, 70%, while the difference in the um, three other outcomes was not uh, significant. When you look at the data according to chorionicity, we found that the reduction was significant in monochorionic twins, but not in diachronic uh, twins. Um, in fact, that's also consistent with the national data where the EMBRACE report uh, published in June 2018 um, uh, reported for the uh, unprecedented decline in stillbirths in twins in the UK by 50% and also uh, neonatal deaths by about 30%. We concluded that implementation of NICE guidance was associated with um, a significant reduction, more than 70% in, uh, in stillbirths in twins, uh, which was even in monochorionic, higher in monochorionic uh, twins. And this was achieved without a concomitant increase in neonatal deaths, uh, immersion to the section, or admission to the neonatal unit. Um, thank you for your attention, and I hope you enjoy uh, reading uh, the paper.